Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going through a Cisco CCNA practice test. Perfect if you're preparing for the exam or just want to sharpen your networking skills. We'll be using Skill Test Pro, which offers solid, up-to-date questions that really reflect the kind of material you'll see on the actual test. Whether you're reviewing routing, switching, IP services, or network security, this session will help you lock in the key concepts. Well, let's get started. The first question is, which of the following uses TCP port 443 for secure communication? Is it HTTP, SSH, Telnet, HTTPS, or FTP? The correct answer is HTTPS. HTTPS, which is short for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, encrypts web traffic using port 443. The next question is, which Cisco device function acts as the first point of entry for incoming internet traffic? Is it core switch, access point, firewall, edge router, or DHCP server? The correct answer is edge router. The edge router connects an internal network to the internet, controlling traffic flow. All right, the next question, which protocol provides automatic IP addressing to devices on a network? Is it DNS, NAT, ARP, DHCP, or ICMP? The correct answer is DHCP. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP, assigns IP addresses dynamically to devices. Now moving on to the next question. A network administrator notices a high number of collisions on a switch port. What could be the cause? Is it port security misconfiguration? Half duplex operation? Incorrect VLAN tagging? Excessive DHCP traffic? Or BPDU filtering? The correct answer is half duplex operation. Half duplex mode can cause collisions as devices must take turns transmitting. Now moving on to, what is the purpose of a default route in a routing table? Is it to define the preferred route for a specific network, to provide a backup route in case a link fails, to forward packets when no specific route is found, to prioritize VOIP traffic, or to establish a VPN tunnel? The answer is to forward packets when no specific route is found. A default route, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, is used when a more specific route is unavailable. Now moving on to question 6. Which routing protocol uses cost as its metric and forms adjacencies using a designated router, or DR? Is it EIGRP? RIP, BGP, OSPF, or ISIS? The correct answer is OSPF. OSPF uses cost as its metric and elects a designated router or DR in multi-axis networks. Now moving on to question seven. A network administrator needs to limit access to a network segment based on IP addresses. What should they use? VLAN, ACL, STP, DHCP, or QoS? The correct answer is ACL. Access control lists, or ACLs, filter traffic based on IP addresses, protocols, or ports. Now on to question eight. Which layer of the OSI model is responsible for data encryption? Is it physical, data link, Network, session, or presentation? The correct answer is presentation. The presentation layer handles data encryption, compression, and format conversion. Now on to question nine. What does the command router OSPF1 do? Enables OSPF process one on a router? Assigns an OSPF cost of one to all interfaces? Enables OSPF version 1, 
configures OSPF on interface Gigabit Ethernet 1, or resets all OSPF configurations? The answer is, enables OSPF process 1 on a router. The command router OSPF1 starts the OSPF routing process with an ID of 1. Now moving on to question 10. Which type of IPv6 address is assigned automatically to an interface and starts with FE80 colon colon? Is it global unicast, multicast, link local, anycast, or loopback? The correct answer is link local. Link local addresses, FE80 colon colon slash 10, are automatically assigned and used for local communication between devices. Now, moving on to question 11. What is the purpose of the spanning tree protocol? To provide redundancy by forwarding all traffic through every link? To create VLANs dynamically? To establish secure communication between switches? To prioritize VOIP traffic over regular data? Or to prevent loops in a Layer 2 network? The correct answer is to prevent loops in a Layer 2 network. STP, or Spanning Tree Protocol, prevents switching loops, which can cause broadcast storms. Now moving on to question 12. What type of NAT allows multiple private IPs to share a single public IP? Is it static NAT, dynamic NAT, PAT, DNAT, or reverse NAT? The correct answer is PAT. Port address translation, or PAT, enables many private IPs to share one public IP, mapping sessions via ports. Now moving on to question 13. What is the default gateway in a network? Is it the IP address of the core switch? The IP address of a local router interface? The IP address of a DNS server? The IP address of a DHCP server? Or the IP address of the ISP router? The correct answer is the IP address of a local router interface. The default gateway is the router interface IP that allows devices to communicate outside their subnet. Now moving on to question 14. A router in an EIGRP network has multiple routes to the same destination. What metric does EIGRP use to determine the best path? Is it cost, hop count, MTU, priority, or bandwidth and delay? The correct answer is bandwidth and delay. EIGRP selects the best path based on bandwidth and delay, while OSPF uses cost and RIP uses hop count. Now moving on to question 15. What is the default administrative distance for a static route? Is it 110, 90, 120, 1, or 5? The correct answer is 1. Static routes have an administrative distance of 1, making them preferred over dynamically learned routes. Now moving on to question 16. Which subnet mask allows for exactly 62 usable hosts in a subnet? Is it 255, 255, 255, 224? 255, 255, 255, 192? 255, 255, 255, 128, 255, 255, 255, 240, or 255, 255, 255, 252. The correct answer is 255, 255, 255, 192. A 26 subnet mask, again 255, 255, 255, 192, provides 62 usable IP addresses, 64 total minus 2 for network and broadcast. Now moving on to question 17. A technician needs to remotely access a router securely over an encrypted connection. Which protocol should they use? Telnet, FTP, TFTP, SSH, or SNMP? 
The correct answer is SSH. SSH, or Secure Shell, encrypts traffic, unlike Telnet, which transmits data in plain text. Now moving on to question 18. What command displays the ARP table on a Cisco router? Is it show IP ARP? Show MAC address table? Show ARP? Show IP route? Or show interfaces? The correct answer is show IP ARP. The show IP ARP command displays the ARP cache, mapping IP addresses to MAC addresses. Now moving on to question 19. A company uses VLAN 10 for voice traffic and VLAN 20 for data traffic. What is the primary benefit of this setup? Increases network speed? Reduces the need for switches? Eliminates the need for routers? Allows automatic failover? Or improves security and traffic separation? The correct answer is improve security and traffic separation. VLANs logically separate traffic, improving security and reducing broadcast domains. And finally, last but not least, question 20. A network engineer is troubleshooting an issue where two directly connected routers cannot form an OSPF adjacency. What could be the cause? Incorrect VLAN configuration? Mismatched OSPF process IDs? Different subnet masks on the interfaces? DHCP configuration issue? Or BPDU filtering enabled? The correct answer is different subnet masks on the interfaces. OSPF requires routers to have matching subnet masks on their connected interfaces to form an adjacency. And that's it for this round of CCNA practice questions. Great job sticking with it. If you're working toward your certification, be sure to check out more videos on this channel in order to keep building your skills. I've added the link to Skill Test Pro in the description and in the pinned comment so that you can try their practice tests yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep learning, and good luck with your exam.